Welcome to week 11 of Project Cost Management. In week 11, your assignment is to um, add status, add some actuals to your deck project, and from that create work overview reports and an earn value table. So to show you how to do that, I'm going to walk you through MS Project Exercises 1, 2, and 3 on page 311 of the Pearson text. So we have uh, four activities so to enter. So let's enter those. Research product, interview customers, design survey, collect data. So there's our four activities. And you should enter in um, a parent activity. So we have a summary activity of the entire project. So let's do that, and I'm just going to call it project. And because it's a summary activity and I want all the other activities as children of those, I'm going to indent those so that it shows that project is a summary activity. So there we go. We're given durations. Research product is six days. Interview customers is four days. Design survey is five days. And collect data is four days. We're given that information. We're also given the predecessors. Research product does not have a predecessor. Interview customers has the predecessor of research product, so I will put that as a predecessor. Design survey also has research product as a predecessor. And collect data has activities, interview customers, and design surveys as the predecessor. So there we go, we've got our network diagram. We're also told who's responsible for each activity. So double clicking on research product, I can go to the resource tab and I am told that Tom Allen is responsible for this activity. I'm told interview customers is Liz Watts responsibility. Design survey is Rich Watkins and collect data is Gary Sims. So there you have it. There's who's responsible for what. Now the other thing it asks us to do is, is to put in status or percent complete. But before you do that, you should always uh, baseline your um, auto schedule and baseline your project. So let's do that. Let's auto schedule it first to make sure everything's good. Okay, we've got it set. And now let's baseline our project. So go to the project tab, set baseline, set baseline. Okay, because that's taking a picture of our plan and everything else will be measured towards it. So now we can add status. So it's telling us that uh, Tom Allen is 100% complete. So one way to do it is to click on the task and go to the general tab and percent complete is 100%. Okay, And it's shown a check mark because it's done. Interview customers. Liz Watkins is 75% complete. So one way we can do that is going to the task tab. So I'm clicking on that task and on the task tab you can see there's 75 percent so I can status it that way so Liz is 75 percent done design survey is 50 percent done so another way we can status is actually just go to the bar and move it to about 50 percent that looks about 50 there we go that's 50 percent complete and then Gary Sims is 0 percent complete so there we go um, that is our status. Now one thing you should also do is uh, put the status date. So let's say we're about halfway through. So let's say the status date is let's say, July 25th. Okay. So always make sure we have that. Okay. So this it needs to be auto scheduled, baselined, and put in a status date before we add any status. So that's the answer to question one. That's what your uh, output file would look like. Question 2 asks you to assign rates. So let's go back to the task tab and 
and go to the resource sheets and let's put in some rates. So Tom is $50 an hour, uh, Liz is $55 an hour, Rich is $18, and Gary is $12.50 an hour. And it asks us to uh, look at the resource usage, state, usage statement. So let's go over here, go to resource usage, and this is all on hours. So let's change it to um, cost. So go into view, tables, and click on cost. And there we go. So Tom he spent $2,400, and he spent $2,400. And cost four hundred, and actually has cost zero dollars. Okay, so that's the answer for question two. Now, question three, we want to create it. Tell ask us to create project summary reports, but because it's Microsoft Project two thousand and thirteen, we're going to do work overview re reports. But before we do that, um, let's add some actuals. Because as you can see, um, Microsoft Project just assumes that the actuals equals the earned value, so it just defaults to that, and we know that never happens. So let's add what things actually cost. So to add actuals, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the File tab, go to the Options, click on Options, we're going to click on Schedule, and we're going to scroll down and we're going to unclick actual costs are always calculated by project and we're going to click edits to total actual cost will be spread to the status state so let's click OK and as you can see um, we can change these now so let's try changing these so let's say that uh, Tom actually um, has spent Let's go to the tracking view, actually. That's a, a good way to look at things. I can find. Sorry. Go to the tracking Gantt chart. And the tables. There we go. Tracking tables. And now we can put in um, some costs. So let's put in, um, this actually costs, I don't know, let's say 1,000. This was maybe 700, uh, 600. And let's say that we actually cost something there, OK? So there we go. We've put in some actual dollars, because things never cost as what we plan them to, uh, to cost. And from here, we can create our um, report. So let's create a work overview report. So go to the Reports tab, go to Dashboards, and click on Work Overview. And this gives us a really nice uh, overview of how the project is going. So this is what you're going to be submitting um, for your deck project, is this work overview um, report. So that's one thing uh, you need to report or uh, submit. And the other thing is, um, I want you to create, so let's go back to the Gantt chart view and then go to tables. You're going to go to more tables and click on earn value and apply. And for some thing, reason that's showing us that we haven't planned anything, so I think maybe we need to rebaseline it. So set baseline. Okay, there we go. So this is what we've planned. So we planned to spend a thousand dollars. We've earned a thousand dollars, and it's actually cost us. So again, things aren't looking quite right. My actuals. So let's see if it'll let us update those. It's not. So let's go to view tables tracking and actual. So we've got some actual costs in here, but they're all as planned. So let's see if we can... Um, those are there. Hmm. So 
So it's showing that our estimate at complete and our budget at complete are exactly um, on track, but we know that this isn't true. Um, not going to let us add actuals. So let's again try the tracking Gantt chart. We've got actuals in here, so why is it not? So let's try the earned value table again. There we go. Okay. So now we're seeing a variance. So our budget at complete was $3,448. We're saying now that we're going to finish the project at $1,724. So that looks good. Um, it looks like we're going to finish under budget. So I think my mistake here was in putting in my actuals I needed to be in the tracking uh, view table. So make sure you do that. So hopefully that helps you with your assignment this week. If you have any questions, please let me know.